Hi, this is Dr. Nikki, and I'm here today to talk with you about guided math. Um, and I just want to just kind of briefly just describe what it is. Guided math is when you have a small group of children working together, three to five kids, sometimes six. If you have seven, then it's not a guided math group anymore. So you really want three to five kids working together on some sort of specific skill. Guided math is where you're working with the children specifically on a strategy, a skill, or a concept. It's not a general group where you're just saying these are the low kids, these are the high kids, these are the medium kids, and this is the groups they're in. Guided math groups are really flexible, they're fluid. You might work with Johnny in a guided math group at a novice level, which is a beginning level for geometry, and then he might be in the expert level, or um, what's called you know the expert level um, for number sets. So, Kids can move in and out of groups, but they're always within a group of three to five kids. Um, when do you do it? You do it during your guided math block. So during the math workshop, you have your introduction and then you have student activity time where kids either go to math centers or they go to their guided math group and um, then you wrap up math workshop with a debrief for the whole class. Uh, where does guided, where do guided math groups take place? They take place anywhere in the classroom. It's really you have to think kind of beyond the kidney table. They can happen at the kidney table, but they can also happen at the computer center, or you can bring laptop computers to the kidney table, or you can meet the kids at the smart board, or you can meet them in a different center that they're working on, maybe in the block area, or maybe just on the floor. Um, it just depends. So there's no perfect place to have a guided math group. There is an appropriate place depending on what you're doing. Um, I call the kidney table kind of home base. That's where we meet often, but not always. Uh, guided math groups usually last between 10 and 15 minutes, um, you know, because you have to have the introduction and then the gist of the guided math group is the kids really doing the work and you talking to the kids and observing what they're doing and then a wrap up of whatever that session was about. So it's usually about 10 to 15 minutes. You plan on, you know, two to three minutes for the opening and then somewhere between, you know, nine, 10 minutes for kids to actually work on the math and do the math and then, you know, two or three minutes for the closing. Um, remember that attention span always comes into play whenever you're working with kids. So you want to think about the age level of the students that you're working with and then kind of adjust your guided math group time to that. And lastly, um, you want to meet kids. What guided math groups are is you want to meet kids where they are in their zone of proximal development. So guided math groups are a space for kids to come and learn the math that they need to know based on your assessments, your benchmark assessments, your formative assessments, your evaluative assessments, or your summative assessments. So you're really always calling kids to groups based on the information that you have on them at the time. Um, and what, one of the things I would just say is just to get started. Don't be afraid. Start small. You know, maybe you start with just one guided math group and you play around with that for a while and then you start adding two and three groups. Um, people always wonder how many groups do I do a day? It depends on your math block. If you have 45 minutes, you might do one or two groups. If you have 75 minutes, you might do two or three groups. If you're just getting started, you might do one group a day. But the important thing is to get started. All right. Thank you.